everyone, welcome back to the Keep On Growing channel. So glad that you're here. My name is Deyanira Cavazos and I am an LPC associate in the state of Texas. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you five tips that personally helped me past the NCE and as a fellow counselor to all my counselors and training out there I got your back I am very excited to share these tips with you and if you take anything away from this video the most important thing that I want to let you know is that this exam does not define who you're going to be as a counselor it is one important step don't get me wrong to getting you closer to becoming licensed but whatever score you get whether it be passing with flying colors or just barely passing that truly Really means nothing when it comes to actually working with clients in the real world in a practical sense so please do not put your self-worth onto this exam it is a completely different ball game than to what we were used to when we were in university and grad school so all of these tips are going to be based off of that and just helping you be more strategic and feel more confident when it comes to approaching the NCE. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. So tip number one, and this might be a very obvious one or it may not, is to study for this exam. And I know some of you might be thinking, isn't that a given? Shouldn't I have to study? But I have come across different people and so have other counselors when I was doing my internship letting me know that some people just ended up graduating, not studying, and just kind of winging it, showing up for the exam and taking it. And for the most part, that has never ended well. And let me tell you why. And this does not mean that those counselors in training weren't intelligent, didn't do really well in schools. It has nothing to do with that. The way that this exam built is very different from most of the exams and quizzes that we would take in our grad school program because most of those were mostly based on memorization. You were just memorizing to get through the next week, through the next exam. And so when you go to take the NCE, memorization is the base level of what we need to pass this exam. It's mostly based off of comprehension and also application of the terminology. So that's why it's very common for a lot of counselors in training to show up to take the exam and feel instantly shocked to the system when they read the first couple of questions because for the most part so many of us even in our accredited program we're not used to seeing the material shown to us in this way and i would say that it's still different from even our comprehensive exams because i was able to study for that and i had questions that were almost word for word from the study guides that i was studying and you will not find that on the NCE. Very rarely will you find a question exactly worded the way that you studied something. And so I think it's super important to know this beforehand because it helps you mentally prepare. Sometimes showing up and seeing what you do see can feel very shocking to the system and it can completely throw you off of your game. And so all of the following tips that I'm gonna keep talking to you about are mostly based on strategy because the way we have to look at this exam is through a strategic lens to get us to the next step on our counseling journey. So yes, definitely study beforehand. Do not wing it. I repeat, do not wing it. Even if you were an A student, take your time to study. So tip number two is don't focus on memorizing, focus on understanding and retaining the concepts. So Rosenthal does talk a lot about this in his book, which is a book that I ended up using to study as well as the audiobook. Developing your own mnemonics are going to be key to help you pass this exam and retain the information, actually retain it. And if you end up going the Rosenthal route, you will begin to notice that maybe some of his mnemonics aren't sticking with you and that's because it's important for you to make your own. There's no shame in having to relearn some things or get reacquainted with things that we did learn in grad school. We have to constantly remind ourselves that we were in a very fast-paced academic setting and to think that all of us across the board can just retain it in such a quick paced fashion is very unrealistic. Tip number three is to take breaks as needed when you're studying and also when you're actually taking your exam. But first let's go back to when you're studying. I would say that it is super important to create a study plan for yourself as a nice guide to help you and keep you accountable, but it's also important for you to adjust this as you go along. Different scenarios come up in life 
different things come up sometimes and in the grand scheme of things it's so much more important if you're feeling that you're not retaining any more information for you to take a couple hours a day off and then hit it up again the next day and you'll start to see how your mind retains that information so much more when your body and your mind are telling you that you need to rest for you to listen and to allow yourself that time it will just help you be a better test taker in the long run and just a healthier human being right we don't want counselors and training to burn out before we even start our careers and i feel like we're not told this enough so i want to tell you you matter and i do not want you burning out you have bigger things to do than this exam so give yourself the time you need to rest and then keep going tip number four is to practice your skills so there are actually free practice quizzes and tests online that you can utilize just to see where you're at i know that taking some of these was really helpful for me i was able to see just what I needed to improve on, what sections I maybe needed to spend a little more time in and it became very evident as I studied as well which areas I needed a couple more days in to just retain that information better. So if you didn't know about those free practice exams, again, I will leave a link down below. Definitely go check that out. So the final tip, tip number five is don't cram the day of the exam. Whatever you do, no matter what the anxious part of you tells you, do not cram the day of the exam. Just leave all of your materials at home. Don't even bring them with you. Spend that morning or spend that day trying to take it easy, trying to relax, doing some self-care things. The relaxation component when it comes to taking this exam is so underrated and it is not stressed enough to us, but if you you're already coming into this exam with the mindset of being in this very high stress level because you were just trying to cram really quickly, it honestly will throw you off. So if you've been taking time to study at home, this I remember learning this like psychology 101, right? If you're studying at home and you're studying and it's a very relaxing environment, very calm, you want to go ahead and mimic that same environment when you're taking this exam. Research shows that that does help you remember the information. So if you're very calm at home, and you're very anxious during the exam those are not the same kind of energy levels and it'll be so much harder to remember what you need to remember when you're there so you could have spent so much time studying months you could have spent weeks studying so much hard work but then when you go to take the exam if you didn't practice self-care and actually utilizing relaxation techniques throughout your day to help you that can honestly play a huge role in hindering the outcome for you so please whatever you do the day of your exam take some time to relax make sure you eat sleep well don't forget the basics and your self-talk also throughout this study process making sure that you are showing up for yourself in an encouraging way so for me personally that sometimes looked like when i was reading on my couch and trying to study sometimes i would have little moments where i'd be like si se puede you got this just trying to be very encouraging toward myself and hype myself up because it can be so easy to just get in our heads and start to question our abilities question if we're intelligent enough if we're good enough for this. So the more we go down that hole, the harder it's going to be to pass this exam. So when it comes to building confidence, it does take a lot of self-talk and giving yourself encouragement throughout the day. And again, some of these things may not be news, may not be new to anyone, but sometimes we just need that reminder and knowing from someone else who's gone through it that it does work. It does work to do these things, to take care of ourselves so that we can show up a little bit more present and more confident into this test taking situation. So I really hope these tips were helpful for you. That is it for this video. If you didn't know, I have a whole playlist here on my YouTube channel dedicated to NCE from vlogs to dedicated videos with tips on how to pass what materials I used all of that good stuff so definitely feel free to check that out because I share so much
many more helpful tips in those videos. And also, if you didn't know, I am currently offering consultations to help counselors in training one-on-one -on -one with tips and developing a study plan with tips catered to each individual's unique lifestyle needs so even though you will be emailed all the tips and also that study plan to get you started some of the things that we talk about in those consultations are your unique lifestyle how taking this test is currently maybe affecting you because something that i will say is that every single different client that i've worked with in doing this has such a unique different lifestyle and it has been so rewarding to work with each of them and lastly i noticed that we finally hit 1k subscribers here on keep on growing and i just want to say thank you so much finding out was so exciting for me i am so happy that each of you are here and that you find my videos helpful again i am just trying to create the kind of content that i know i needed and i would have liked to have when i was in grad school so knowing that it helps you all out means the world thank you so much and if you want me to keep creating videos like this video subscribe hit that notification bell leave me a comment down below let's go ahead and chat all of these things help support my channel so i can keep creating content for you all here take care and i will go ahead and catch you in my next video mm -hmm.